Okay, go ahead, Jake. I'm Jake Sauer. And I am Mrs. Sauer. And today we're going to make blondies. Okay, so what did we do already with our hands, Jake? We sang happy birthday and we washed them. Okay, for how long? How many seconds are you supposed to do that for? 60. <laughs> no, 20 we did it for. Mistake number one. <laughs> it's okay to do them for 60 though. They're, they're squeaky clean now, right? All right, so our first ingredient, we have all our equipment now, we have all our ingredients out, right? So I'm gonna call off the ingredients. You're gonna tell me if we have it. Do we have butter, Jake? Yes. Do we have brown sugar? Yes. Do we have one egg? Yes. Do we have flour? Yes. Do we have salt? Yes. Do we have vanilla? Yes. Baking powder? Yes. And chocolate chips? Yes. And we have our oven preheating at 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So the first ingredient is a half cup of butter, which is one stick melted. Okay, but we're going to wait to melt it. I'm going to just put the butter. And I get to slice it. Right, in a small bowl. Okay, and we're just going to put that to the side. The second ingredient is brown sugar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to measure brown sugar. Now, brown sugar is the one ingredient that you always pack down. So what we didn't check is that we had all our equipment out. You need to step down because we didn't take out our measuring cups. Now, did we? Yeah. Perfect. So now we have all our measuring cups. Now, brown sugar, like I said, is the only ingredient you ever, ever, ever pack down. You're going to pack it down. Nice and tight. So what you do, Jake, is you take a big, large spoon. I'm just going to show you, and then you're going to do it. Take a big spoonful. It's okay if you get it. And then you got to pack it down really, really tight. While Jake's doing that, I'm going to crack an egg into the custard bowl. You can crack it again on the counter, on the side of the bowl. But we want to make sure that we don't get any shell inside. Just a little garbage in that foil. Mm -hmm. foil. Perfect. Yeah, just keep packing it down nice and tight. What's going to happen? Whoops, yeah. that's all right. Is when you flip it over, it's going to be like a sand castle and it's all going to stay together. All right, so now we have our egg craft. While Jake does that, I'm going to continue and I'm going to measure one cup of flour. So I took a lot of stuff from school on Friday. Today's Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. This is what we're doing on a Sunday afternoon. We're hoping that Daddy doesn't come upstairs because Daddy is downstairs. Let me get another large spoon because you're using that spoon. watching football. So we sent him down in the basement. Whoops, I'm taking that for a few minutes so he doesn't mess things up. So I'm going to need one cup of all-purpose flour so I know that a half and a half, because Jake's got my one cup, Yes. Okay. equals one cup. So I'm gonna lightly spoon and level off my flour. How's that going? Good. Good. How about this? That's awesome. Keep going, nice and tight. I'm gonna level off with my leveler. You don't have a whole heck of a lot of room Can either, I have right? A Tell them what we have my camera, my my phone up on right now. A ladder. A ladder, because mommy forgot or Mrs. Sauer. <laughs> Forgot her camera clipper at school. I got everything ready to go, and the one thing I needed, Wait, I, I forgot. Wait, I need that. Oh, I'm sorry. What is this called? A smoother. <laughs> leveler. <laughs> it's a leveler. So I have the one cup. You pack it down nice and tight. No, I got my one cup of flour. Now a pinch of salt. And you just want a little, little, little pinch of salt. So I'm gonna Why'd you bring that whole thing? What? <laughs> no, right? I just did, <laughs> instead of using all our stuff, right? So, in your directions, it says to pour a small amount into your palm, yeah. okay? And then you just Done. a little pinch. Okay, so we're going to wait one second, Jake. We're going to take this other piece of wax paper. We're going to move this to the side. And you're going to take this, and you're going to flip it out on there. Take that oh. and flip it out. Perfect. Paper comes out. Well, it's coming. Oh. So you did it good because it didn't fall apart. All right, can you give me that little piece of wax paper? One of those pieces of wax paper? The smallest. Oh, that's good. Yes. That's fine. Now to take a pinch, why don't you take a pinch of salt? So you're just gonna go at your hands like that, mm -hmm. grab it in your hands, and then put it on that piece of wax paper. 
So that's the only amount of salt you need, just a little bit of salt. It's called a pinch of salt. What now we're going to do is we're going to take this, can you just go like that and pour that all back into there without spilling it all over? Done. Okay, so we're going to move that to the side. Done? Yeah, we're going to just... I'll start now. Well, what, we don't want to keep opening the garbage. We should have probably just made a little bowl for the garbage. All right, next ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking powder. So why don't you do both of those? So grab the baking powder. Baking uh, powder, that canister right there. This? Nope, that's cooking. Oh, this. Right. Yep, baking powder. So this actually has a leveler on it. So I don't know if the ones at school do, but I'm just going to show you. So you're going to... Keep it over, and then you go like that, and you level it off. Awesome. So baking powder is what's going to make the brownies, or blondies, I, rise. Wait, they're okay? brownies? They're brownies, but they're blonde, like mommy, right? I'm really dark brown, but <laughs> what do I do to my hair to make it blonde? What do I do? I, I go to the hairdresser, right? Mm -hmm. And they put foils in it, right? Oh. All right, now you're going to put that on there. Just One dump teaspoon, it. just dump it, get it on the wash paper. Perfect. Okay. One teaspoon of baking powder, and then we're going to do the vanilla. Now, the vanilla, you got to do really, really slow. So you hold this. I'm going to do it. Okay, we're going to pour this into a custard bowl. So this, like, okay, how about I pour it? I'm going to pour it, and you're going to get it in the in the custard bowl so it doesn't go all over. So you're going to take it. that one teaspoon. No, nope, you're going to do this again. And now we're almost done. Pretty quick for Blondie. Hold that right over that. And Mama's gonna go, Mrs. Sowers gonna go really slow here. Fran, here, I'm gonna actually. A teaspoon right to the top, pour it in. Perfect. It won't get out. No, it's too good. Okay, just put that over to the side. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, I brought granulated sugar home. It doesn't even call for granulated sugar. I wonder why that bag was so heavy I took from school. All right, we got one last ingredient, which is one third cup of what, Jay? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. So grab the chocolate chips. Just be careful because there's a, a cut of open already. We need one third cup. Now we don't eat the chips in school, do we? We don't eat them at home. Yes, I do. You're not supposed to be eating and then touching the food, okay? Well, it tastes good. I'm sure they do. All right, so you're going to slowly pour them in. Now, if you get a little extra or over, we're okay with the chips. So, one third cup. I may have to taste one too. Anytime. All right, I think that's good. Perfect. Let's go a little extra. Don't do that in school. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> Who's getting the naughty food, right? I can feel it. All right, but what we got to do with that is that's not going to go in the bowl like that. So while Mommy puts the, Mrs. Sour puts this in the microwave, I can't show you, but I told Jake what you guys can do, let me grab a knife, is to make it easier and for it to melt quicker, you're just going to cut like that. You're going to do I just wanted to show. Can I get it on a piece of it? Just, just cut it. Doesn't matter. Just cut it. So we're going to go about 20 seconds in the microwave. Now my microwave is probably a little bit different than the one in school. And when I put this in the microwave, perfect, Jake. What I want you to do is take this brown sugar mm -hmm. in your hands and crumble it all up. Just keep it on the wax paper. So our oven is already preheated. It says 350. I'm going to go 20, whoops, 20 seconds on the microwave. We have a button. It looks like it's 30. 30. Well, I put it for 30, but because we don't have a 20 second uh, button. No, wait, I want to do it. Okay, but yeah, okay. Okay, okay. We're just trying to crumble it though. Now, see, now go wash your hands. So don't get it all over the floor. All right, now we have everything done. And now we're going to move along with our direction. So at this point in school, everybody's going to say, Mrs. Sauer, can you check my lab? And I'm going to come over and I'm going to check that everything's measured correctly. I'm going to check on my butter. And I've noticed that my butter is not melted. It's not? Nope. So make sure you run something good and then use the paper towel, stinker. Whoops, yeah. I call him stinker. I call him meatball. What else do I call you? Make sure I could say in school. Uh, turkey? <laughs> turkey? I've never called you turkey before. I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's get our butter. Can you butter. Grab, can you get that large bowl we're going to need? And the, the biggest? 
large one. Small, medium, large. Rather right small. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So what you can do is check off everything. We did our half cup of butter. So I made a different recipe Wait. up for school. No. That one's good, Jake. No. Jake, Jake no. We, we really don't have time for this because I hope my camera is even working right now. Jake, Jake. Brown sugar, egg, you gotta get your sleeves up. Flour, pinch of salt, we did. Mm, pinches okay. right here. Vanilla, baking powder, chips. Okay, we preheated our oven, check. Okay, so it says line an eight inch baking pan. So I have an eight inch baking pan here. And we're gonna line it, cause that's gonna make it easier. Just, just put it right there, we need it one second. I just gotta show you. You need a little bit of an overhang, so on day two, what I like to do is just kind of flip it over and that way. A little trick. Turn it over. And it should fit in there. So on day two, you're basically just going to come in, because these aren't going to be done in the same day. You're just going to take and lift it up and out, the blondie. All right, so what has to be done now is we have to make put the cooking spray in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And so this stuff you got to be very careful with, so I'm going to do it. You have to keep it going. Okay, boy. I'm going to do a little bit of spray. So it gets all like that. What I like to do is just take a little a paper towel or something in school, kind of push it all around, all right? Mm -hmm. And now we have direction number two done. All right, Jake, let's go to the back. Just leave Wait, it up there. Yeah, there's a bag. We gotta put everything together. Oh, oh what do you think it do? It just makes a cookie like that? Where are you going, Mr. Assistant? What are you doing? Oh, you're checking to see if we're still on. Okay, melt butter in a small bowl. We did that. Pour melted butter into the large bowl. Yes, bigger. Alright, so this is gonna be hot in school. Just be careful. I'm gonna pour it in. Combine the melted butter and brown sugar. So you're going to stir it. So, and you're going to grab the wooden spoon. So you can either use a wooden spoon in school or you could use a rubber scraper. But just like Jake did, you're going to want to crumble that brown sugar up first. Okay, so now you're going to mix that all in and get that all combined. Just do it easy because that butter can go all over the place. Looks it then good. says add egg and vanilla and then set aside. But we're going to wait for that. While he's mixing that, I'm going to do the next direction. And the next direction says to combine your dry ingredients. So that's going to be the flour, the baking powder, whoops, and a pinch of salt. Okay, so combine means to do what? You have any idea, Jack, Jake? Yes. Combine so, means to do what? I put three so, things in there. What do I so, have to do? Um, mix and it combines with the other thing. Very good. Just watch putting your finger in your eye and then touching food because that's not good sanitation. Okay, Ooh, that kind of looks like caramel. So show them what it looks like. Ooh, that's what it looks like, right? I'm gonna keep okay. this. Okay, you gotta do what the next direction says. So add egg, I'm gonna add the egg. Stop touching your eye. And the vanilla. I'm smashing the egg up. Perfect. No, no, mix it in good. Die. Jake, Jake. Really? Okay, I'm going to take over and then no. stir it. And I've just combined the other ingredients. Watch what you're doing now. And then we're going to add this into here. So where it says to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Mm, I don't like that direction though. Hmm? I don't know if I think we should have put the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I guess it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to put the dry in here, so I may have now. to change that direction, but I already made colored copies, so I would put just the dry into here. Do you see how? So if you notice, Jake said now, but there's still all egg on the side, so oh. he wants to make sure that he stirs that in a little bit better. you got to get around the side. Sometimes if you take the rubber scraper, this oh. is what Mommy likes, because Grandma used to run around the house with me with the wooden spoon. And what, would you get this out? <laughs> no, she'd run around if I wasn't listening to her and she'd get the wooden spoon out. <laughs> Did you ever get it? Did I ever get the wooden spoon? Yeah. Yeah, Molly was good. 
All right, we're good? No. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, so now we're going to, now this part, you got to go slow or else this flower is going to end up all over your okay, face. Okay, now I'm going to use this. Well, this is good. Let me just show the students. So this is actually good because you just, what, just let me show them. You're going to toss it. This is called to fold, okay? And you're getting, I know. You're combi How do you know? I knew that. Because your mommy teaches you? Yes. Because I'm, I'm the best cook around? <laughs> What are you laughing at? Yes, you are. Okay, you're on video. Was that video still going? When you check, go check it out because yeah, we yeah. should be wasting a lot of time and I don't have all these ingredients to redo everything. Is it going? I hope it's going. Are you kidding me? No, it's on. Oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we're good? I just went like this. That's okay. Okay. Now, you keep stirring it. We're going to get ready for those chocolate chip bars. Hey, why is it mixed it in for me? Because you were playing around making sure we be careful. This is a glass bowl. I got so it. This is a pretty easy recipe. I've actually never made these. Miss Hamilton gave me the recipe and she said that the students really liked them. So for a nice easy uh, lab without me doing a live demonstration, this is why I chose to do the video because we don't really have time this week. So it's going to make my life a little bit easier too. Right? So I don't have to do this twice in one and day. And you have a son. And I have a son who I could put to work. Okay. So now you're going to pour the chips in. It says add the chocolate chips and mix well. Where? Watch your arm. Oh. Right here. Okay. Now you're going to mix them well. And I know who's going to be doing all the dishes too. Me. Yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. What do you mean no? Nope. No? Do you want to eat dinner tonight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to do the dishes then. Just like I have my students do the dishes. Really? They say, oh, well, how come we don't get to use the dishwasher? Yeah. And who's going to empty the dishwasher? Who's going to put all the dishes in? Oh, my God. Whoops. <laughs> that scared mommy. I'm glad this, I didn't say anything. I this is sour. <laughs> all right. You ready? I can't get it. It's all right. Hard. You're all set. So now I'm going to go back to the rubber scraper. And this has to pour the batter. It's going to be pretty thick batter. We're going to pour it into the pan, and this is where I think we're going to use the rubber scraper. All right, so I'm going to scrape it all. What does it look like? kind of looks like peanut butter, right? Yes. Peanut butter with chocolate Even chips. though I don't like it. You've never tried it. That's why you don't like it. I know. I okay, so we're like going to take it all. I would suggest again in school to use the rubber scraper. No licking the bowl. Do you know why you don't lick the bowl? Because there's something raw in there, Jake? Do you know what's in there that you shouldn't eat raw? The white thing. What's the white thing that we put in here? The, the, the egg. egg. Yep. I know we put different white things. So now you're going to take your wooden spoon or your rubber scraper. I'm going to start with my wooden spoon. And you're going to spread it all around. What are you doing? Trying to get out of the apron? Yes. So that's what I tell the students too. Did mommy tie it too tight? Because sometimes I tell them not to no, tie it too tight. No, because I did four knots. Oh, you did four knots. Because I tell them all the time if they tie it too tight, then they're going to be stuck with me all day. At least I can undo it. Yeah, well, some of them can't. <gasps> don't say nothing. Get away from it, right? And everybody should know how to tie an apron on too, right? Don't you say nothing. Okay, look good? Mm. All right, so let's see what it yes. says. Can you read this? How long do we have to bake it? Bake for 20 or tw 25 minutes. Perfect. And that's it. Then it says to lift the aluminum foil. So we're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to put our timer for 20 minutes. And then we're going to check it from there to make sure that they're cooked. Do you know how you know if cookies are done, Jake? Yes. How? Because, um... What color should they be? Brownish. Oh, yeah, like a golden brown. Or you could take a tooth... What do we do with banana bread when we make it? Did you ever see mommy take a knife or a toothpick? Yes. And what do I do? I put, you stick it in. And what do I want? Do I want it to come out clean or all wet? Clean. Definitely. All right, so we're going to pop this in the oven. What am I going to put on my hands? What Gloves. Like a... Oven um, mitts. Yeah. Oven mitts. Perfect. All right. Thank you for watching, and we will show you when they come out and what they look like. Okay? Perfect. So I'm going to put this in the oven, watch what you do over there while I turn away. I'm going to go for 20 minutes. If you want to say anything to the students, make sure it's appropriate and don't ruin my video. Go over and tell them, hello. Say, this is how I say hello. This is how I say hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, are we going? Mm-hmm. Okay, I hope I didn't.
I just ruin it. All right, so the blondies have been in. I put them in for 20 minutes, and then I actually added another five. We're up to 25 minutes. And then I actually got another two minutes, and I think we're done. So we're going to take them out, and actually, Jake, why don't you take a toothpick out, and we're going to show them what you should do with the toothpick when oh, it comes out. It. Now remember, the pans are going to be very hot, okay? Remember, you're on video, Jake. How is it? Looking good. Isn't it supposed to be blackish? Oh, those are blondies, remember? Oh. Blondies are so why blonde. Why is it black on that? Oh, that's because it's a picture. That's mommy's ink. Okay, so look, they're just like brownies, right? But they're blonde. All right, so you gotta be careful because okay. this is this is hot. I want the other name. Okay. Well, why don't you just hold it and you're gonna just put a toothpick in. Watch. Make sure that it comes out clean. Clean? Yeah. A little wet. Well, that's because it's it's not. Is it, is it all batter all over it, Jake? Okay, now you're destroying it. No. Okay, good. And you can, oh, you got some chocolate on there. Yeah. So on day two, they're a little hot right now, but you're going to actually have to let these cool. And then on day two, they're going to lift right out. So I'm going to let these cool, and we're going to try not to eat them. Should we bring them into school for the kids to taste? What are you going to taste them? What are you, a dog? <laughs> You won't eat these. You don't eat anything but chicken nuggets and cheese brownies. Don't tell him what I eat. Oh, now he's going to I'm a very pick, picky eater. He's very picky. And now he's going to go over on YouTube and watch who? Jack Septicai? Yeah, very inappropriate. Hope you guys love our brownies. I want a video.